Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Ashley. How are you? I hope that you guys enjoyed Miss Sarah's message last week. It was so good. I loved listening to it. Do you guys remember what she talked about? Yeah, the life that Jesus lived, right? And she talked about how um, Jesus did things that were miracles. They were things that only God can do, that no one else could do but Jesus, right? And do you guys remember, boys and girls, what a miracle is? Like the definition of a miracle? Yeah, it's something that only God can do. And the life that Jesus lived here on earth, he was doing miracles because it reveals who he was, that he was God. And there was a specific miracle that she talked about, right? He did something. Yes, he raised Lazarus from the dead, right? And that showed, it showed Jesus's power over death, right? And what did Jesus come to do for us? Yeah, he came to rescue us from death, from sin and death, because because of sin, the wages of that are death. And he came to rescue us from sin and death because he died on the cross for us so that our sins would be forgiven. And then we don't have to die. We can live forever. Remember she talked about that. That's so interesting how you can die, but you would live forever. And that's because with Jesus, when we believe in him, we have life forever with him. Oh, it's so good. Okay, and our story today is found in Matthew 21, and it's called Jesus' Triumphal Entry. Wow. All right, let's pray, and then we can read our story today. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word. We are grateful that every time we open it up, we get to discover you. We get to come closer to you. We get to learn about who you are and what you did in history for us. And what we always discover in your scripture is your great love for us. And so God, I just pray that as we open up scripture today, that you would um, give us eyes to see you and ears to hear you and a heart to really receive your great love for us. And so God, I just pray that your word would touch us, everyone that hears it. And we thank you so much for your son, Jesus. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. Okay. So this is Matthew 21. You can open up your Bibles and follow along, or you can just listen. All right. This was a time to celebrate the Passover. So we're starting, um, there's a big celebration um, in Jerusalem and they're celebrating the Passover. And that's a special time to remember because God rescued the Israelites from Israel. Remember, they, he freed his people from slavery in Israel. And so many um, Israelites, they would travel back to Jerusalem uh, to celebrate God's amazing rescue. And among these people, who had come to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover were Jesus and his disciples. And when they got there near the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead to go into the village. And he said something. He said, as soon as you enter the village, you will see a young donkey tied um, to a fence. And he said, bring it here to me. And if anyone asks, why do you do this? Say, the Lord needs it. So Jesus gave them some instructions and he told them um, to go find this donkey that would be waiting for them. Pretty interesting, right? So the disciples, they did as Jesus asked and they went and they found the donkey there just like Jesus had said and they untied the donkey and the owners asked, why are you doing this? And the disciples said, just like uh, Jesus had told them, they said, the Lord needs it. So they brought the donkey back to Jesus and they threw um, their robes on onto the donkey and then they helped Jesus get up onto the donkey. And then Jesus rode in to Jerusalem on the donkey and 
other people that were there in town, remember that a lot of people had come to celebrate the Passover, um, the people that were in town also started to throw their robes on the ground, uh, kind of like where Jesus was riding in on the donkey, and they also started to throw palm branches on the ground. And that has, um, there's a symbol in doing that. When you throw robes on the ground for someone to walk on or to, you know, ride in on, or you throw the palm branches, it, it means something. Um, it's what you do for royalty. And royalty, right, is like uh, kings. And so the people were doing this to honor Jesus as their king. And they were uh, rejoicing and they were laying the palm branches and they were celebrating Jesus as the king that would come and rescue them. Because right now during this time, uh, the they wanted to be freed from the Romans because the Roman empire was ruling over them and not treating them well and they wanted their uh, Messiah, their king, to come in and rescue them from the oppression that they were under from the Romans. And so they were honoring Jesus because they believed that he was going to do that. He was going to rescue them um, and he was going to save them from that. And while Jesus did come to rescue and he did come to save us, the way that he was going to do it was going to be different. It wasn't quite what the people had expected. So the crowd were, started praising them with their loud voices and they were saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna is the highest in heaven. And I was wondering, boys and girls, does anybody know what Hosanna means? When they were saying that to Jesus as he rode in on the donkey and they laid the palm branches and they laid down the robes, they were saying Hosanna. Does anybody know what that means? Yeah, it means save now. So Hosanna, they were crying out, save now, save us now, Jesus. And they were welcoming him as their promised king because that's what they had hoped. They had hoped that he would save them from the Romans. Well, some religious leaders asked Jesus to tell his disciples to be quiet. And Jesus answered them um, when they said that. He said something so great. He said, to the people, the religious leaders that said, quiet, quiet your people. He said, if they do not praise me, the rocks would praise me. Oh, that is so great. I love how Jesus said that because he is God and he knows that everything praises him. Rocks and trees and birds and all of his creation right? And even if he told the people to be quiet, um, the rocks would still praise him. And in this story that we got to read, we see how the, the people welcomed Jesus as their king, as their Messiah. Um, and this king that they were waiting for, um, the Messiah, it's been spoken about all throughout scripture. And in Zechariah, it says in Zechariah, when he said, look, your king is coming. This is in Zechariah. This is when he prophesied that your Messiah would come. Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, humble and riding on a donkey. So by Jesus coming in uh, into Jerusalem on this donkey, he was, he was actually... Um, living out what the scriptures had said. And that's why Jesus told the disciples, he said, go, um, there's going to be a donkey there and bring it and say that the Lord needs it. Because Jesus knew that he was coming to fulfill um, the prophecy that they spoke about all throughout. Remember all the stories of scripture, they point uh, to Jesus. They they point to Jesus and Jesus is a fulfillment of that. And back in Zechariah, it said, look, your king is coming righteous and, and victorious. That means he would, he would be victorious, right? And Jesus was. But it was in a different way, right, boys and girls? The way that Jesus was victorious wasn't quite what they had expected. Remember, they wanted him to like ride in and, and be a strong, powerful king and rescue them from the Romans. And what did Jesus do, boys and girls, you know? Yeah, he, he went to the cross and he hung 
on the cross, right? He was beaten. He was uh, treated horribly. He was hurt. And then he hung on a cross like a criminal and he died. And that doesn't, that doesn't really fit with a lot of people's uh, idea of what victory is, right? But we, you and I, we know that that really is victorious, that God, by dying on that cross, he defeated sin. And then what else did he defeat, boys and girls? And Sarah talked about it uh, last week when he rose uh, Lazarus from the dead. Yeah, he, he not only defeated sin on the cross and was victorious with that, he defeated death when he rose again, right? Jesus is alive. He rose. We, we have a living and um, breathing God in heaven. He sits at the right hand of the Father. And so Jesus came and he did rescue us and he was victorious. Uh, just is different than, than what some people had hoped. And I know that sometimes when we think about, um, about Jesus and about um, what it is to be a Christian, it's, it isn't always what we imagine, right? Sometimes it's a little different than what the world thinks um, or what we hope, uh, but we know uh, that Jesus is victorious, that he does give us life a new life in him and that because of him we are not bound by sin we are forgiven and that we're given eternal life right um, and that is our victory and it's found in Christ well thank you so much boys and girls for coming and opening up God's word with me and listening to another wonderful scripture story about Jesus and his love and how he came to rescue both you and me and all of us. All right, next week, Miss Sarah will be with you. And until then, I will see you soon and know that I'm praying for all of you because then I miss you and we love you. Bye.